like most things in machining, there's a couple different ways to do work offsets, tool offsets, uh, and this is no exception. So we're going to set up uh, drilling tools or you know an inside turning pocket. If you reference the Siemens literature or tutorials, you'll see that uh, even you know if you set up in the tool offset table, if you set up a drilling tool. Uh, it wants you to take the drilling tool and bump it up against the side of your work and then the control will calculate half the diameter of your work, half the diameter of your uh, tool and that will be your zero point, which works fine. Uh, you know, I don't like to do it that way because if you have a, you know, it's hard to get feel. You can't really see the deflection, it could be off a little bit, so I always indicate everything in. Uh, either off the base of the tool um, or most of the time off the pocket of my inside turning tool holders. Uh, you can use um, a standard dial test indicator, just you know, clock it in, or in this case, I'm using a coaxial indicator. Um, you know, makes the job just a little bit simpler, and I have access to it, so I'm going to use it. Uh, again, make sure that this you know, call the tool that you're setting up. Jog your, you know, tool holder over the finger of the indicator. And now we're just going to turn the spindle on at a slow speed. Uh, we'll give it 50 with, uh, you know, at 50%. So really we're going to be turning at 25 RPM. I'm gonna cycle start and I'm gonna hold my ham wheel. So we actually have about, this is a half a thou indicator. Uh, so we have about a thou run out. We're actually good uh, in the, I actually need to shim the tool holder up a little bit. But for most jobs, I mean, we're gonna be well within, uh, you know, tolerance a half a thou out on a, a twist drill or something like that is, is not going to be any big deal. Um, so that's good enough. So uh, once we're over the center, again, the process is the same. We're going to go to measure tool. Measure tool. We're measuring an X. Um, there is no diameter. We're you know, center line of the spindle, center line of the bore on our tool holder. So we're going to punch in zero, uh, set length X. And so our X value is zero. That's all there is to it. It would be the exact same thing if you had a twist drill, uh, you know, indicate the base of your twist drill. You know, it's all, it's all the same. So don't get too wrapped up in what the tool is or you can go, and this applies to anything on the control, but since we're in measure tool right now, if we hit our help uh, f feature on the control, measuring the tool manually, it will go through just exactly what we learned. You know, actually here's a, they're setting up a drill here, a twist drill. so you know, we use that reference plane of the chuck, it would be the same thing. You're just taking your gauge block and you're running it down through the front of that drill tip and that's going to be your, your zero for your drill. 